Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about Kava Kava for anxiety. Uh, as you can tell, this bottle is not opened. I have not needed to use it for anxiety, uh, but I will be getting into that in this video. But first, my disclaimer. I am not a doctor and I am not a chemist, nor do I pretend to be either one of those things. I do not encourage the use of any substances, legal or illegal, and this video is strictly for educational and entertainment purposes only. So, kava kava is uh, often used for anxiety treatment. Um, I haven't tried it yet. I'm looking to try it, and I've heard people say that it has similar effects to Xanax, which I've never tried or it can have similar effects to taking GABA. Um, it's supposed to have that sort of relaxation, uh, null, nulling feeling of um, Xanax uh, or other things like Valium do, um, but it's supposed to be, I mean, there's the whole thing about it being natural. We obviously know natural doesn't mean better, but sometimes things that are natural in the case of kava kava have been used for a longer period of time and have more maybe more anecdotal but more reports overall about their safety and efficacy um i am interested in this particularly because i suffer from um very infrequent but i do suffer from like panic attacks or anxiety attacks whatever you want to call them uh because i have pure oc pure o ocd um, you can do your own research on that. I'm not going to be talking about it in this video, but I think that kava kava extract would be a potential aid in helping to nullify the extremeness of the anxiety attacks. I think I've also heard reports that it could be beneficial for persons who have trouble falling asleep, persons with insomnia, but don't take my word for that. Always do your own research. Um, overall, I would love to hear people's reports on how kava kava has been for them people usually just call it kava they don't, don't usually call it kava kava i've also heard people say that it has a reverse tolerance which is strange obviously because most people are used to tolerance and not reverse tolerance but the idea is that the more often you take it you actually become less tolerant to it and you need less and less um oftentimes i hear of people saying they took a, a decently large dose the first time they took it and had absolutely nothing happen and then they had to take like five times as much and then had absolutely nothing happen um, I've also heard people say they really don't like the feeling of it because they don't like how anti-anxiety short-term anti-anxiety medication makes them feel in general I don't know I've never tried it <laughs> um, I possibly will in the future um, I've also heard that it can have some effects on the liver so if you it, it, this isn't medical advice, obviously, and I wouldn't recommend anybody try this, but if you have liver problems, especially stay away from it. I don't think that it's worth the risk. Um, I would imagine that it would exasper exacerbate liver problems that are already happening, but overall, I think if someone used it sparingly, almost like if someone had a drink every two weeks or so like a beer every two weeks or so i don't drink alcohol uh so i don't really know the usage format <laughs> of alcohol uh usage format i sound like a noob um but anyway uh the thing is that wouldn't really have an impact on the liver and i would imagine kava kava is a good way to have that i also got it because i wanted to look for an alternative to gaba and taking gab all the time because as we know, GABA just, GABA, uh, at least from what I, I know in my research, GABA does have a tolerance building effect, normal, and Kava says that it has a reverse tolerance, supposedly, I don't know if this is true. Um, the other way people make it is they make it into like a, a sort of tea, but uh, you don't actually put the actual item in it, I believe, you have to like squish it out into water. I didn't want to go that method. I just wanted to go with the extract uh, to try it out for myself. And yeah, uh, if I try it out and I f find good results from it, I'll give you guys an update. But overall, this video is mainly asking for anecdotes from people uh, to see if they had any good reports to say about Kava. Um, I also wanted to know if people had any reports of the reverse tolerance being true or if it's more of just more of just people trying to sell stuff and it's actually just a normal tolerance building effect. 
Um, I also wanted to hear if people put it into a regimen for their anti-anxiety, maybe so that they don't become tolerant to just like GABA or maybe they have prescription Xanax or Valium. And so they take different things at different times, just that sort of thing. But um, that is going to be it for this video. I hope everyone is doing well right now. Remember to keep those shoulders back and down when you lift. Oh, I almost forgot. Please subscribe to the channel and please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And until next time, don't just have a good one. Have a great one.